President Joseph F. Smith hoped his remarks might be directed by the good Spirit of God, and earnestly craved the prayers and faith of the saints now before him. A concentration of faith and prayer was necessary to secure the blessings of the Lord. It was written, Ask, and ye shall receive. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. If we ask not, we need not expect to receive. If we seek not, we need not expect to find. If we do not knock, we need not expect the door of mercy to be opened to us. The sun shines upon the just and the unjust, and the rain descends on the evil as well as the good. These are among the more general blessings that God bestows upon all his children. In bestowing these things, God is no respecter of persons. It is, however, the duty of all to acknowledge the hand of God, our Heavenly Father, in all things, even in the blessings bestowed upon all mankind in common. If we fail to do this, are we not guilty of the sin of ingratitude, which we will have to answer for at the bar of God? There are blessings that are not bestowed upon the human family in general without their seeking to obtain them. Among the blessings of this character are the following, which can only be obtained on certain conditions. First, there is faith, which is the gift of God. Faith to acknowledge the hand of God in all things. Faith to believe the gospel. Faith to take that course by which we can receive a pardon for our sins. A blessing which does not fall upon all mankind is the remission of sins. And who does not desire such a blessing? To be made clean in the sight of God. To receive pardon for all past evil doings. From the conduct of many, even these called Latter-day Saints, they would seem to be impure, unclean, unholy, and unfit for presence of angels, because they do not observe the conditions by which they can be cleansed, and made fit for the full enjoyment of the blessings of the gospel of Christ. No one can receive the Holy Ghost except those who have received a remission of sins. That spirit cannot dwell in unholy temples, and no man can testify that Jesus is the Christ, but by the Holy Ghost, which alone can enlighten our minds and enable us to discern between good and evil. None need expect this great gift only as they ask it in faith, and live in the observance of the commandments of God. We can only know that our sins are remitted by the Holy Ghost, testifying to our hearts. Let us therefore learn to so live that we can ask and receive. And as we advance in the science of life and the exercise of this great gift of faith, we can obtain power with God, even as did Jesus, who by faith healed the sick, fed the multitude, controlled the winds, and the commanded the waves, and they obeyed him. In speaking of the death rate during the past year, said that it was greater than it ever was before in this city, and it was a portentous sign. The times are big with stirring events, and the Latter-day Saints should take warning, and so order their lives that all those blessings promised us in the gospel, and especially those couched in the word of wisdom, could be realized. He testified that every blessing promised in the word of wisdom would be verified to all those who lived for them, and on the other hand, they could not be obtained without observing it. He concluded with a powerful exhortation to a life of righteousness and exertion to obtain those peculiar blessings which only come through seeking for them in the appointed way.